what's going on everybody this car is going to be polished and as you can see this is after the car has been washed and clayed there is some nasty stuff on there that is just disgusting it looks like a homeless man took a dump 10 years ago on this hood and it's just been baking in there and we're gonna see what we can do with these three polishes to get that stuff out. And these are the polishers I'm using, the Porter Cable and the Harbor Freight DA. So just, um, I washed it and clayed it. Now I'm using some 50-50 mixture of um, IPA. And as you can see, this looks like literally poo stain or some acid or oil or homeless person vomiting on it. I have no idea, but here we go. We're gonna use the um, class first with an orange cutting pad. And I, looking back on it, I use way too much. This is just complete overkill. You don't need that much, but uh, yeah. Hindsight's 20-20. So wiping this off, the goal has been completed of getting that uh, weird stuff off um, of the clear coat. We're not going for perfection here. We are just going for that little top layer of that weird residue that was on there. The homeless man's poo or whatever it is. Um, but as you can see, it's not perfect by any means. We're not doing a two step or three step paint correction here. We're just trying to get that uh, vomit slash oil off of the clear coat changing up the pad using the same kind of pad I, look at the look at the other pad look at how black that is my brother's holding that that pad is completely black that i mean so the class obviously removed all that stuff so onto the hd speed with the new pad on all these test spots i'm using the harbor freight polisher on speed setting five I'm doing about four passes. So here is the comparison between the class and the HD speed. Both look pretty similar. There's still a lot of rock chips and, and everything in there. Like I said, I'm not spending a lot of time on this. I'm just doing a test spot uh, with about, I'd say four to five passes with, with each product. Um, both really good results though. Changing up the pad again. Went on to the Griot's Garage Correcting Cream for the final test spot. Once again, speed setting five and about four passes. As you can see, when I wipe this off, the results are pretty good. Obviously, this car has 234,000 miles on it. So this thing is taking a beating, but here are the results. So this is my brother's car and I used these three different polishes to see which one would produce the best result and since I'm such a great brother I left it up to him what he thought would be best what do you want on your car bro yes we have to go with the class brother and there it is so the product that he wanted to use on his car is the class as you can see it is disgusting but with a little bit of love it cleaned up pretty nice So all the products that I use are going to be linked in the description below. 
if you have any questions on the products or what I did, um, how I polished or anything like that, let me know because I did a lot of editing in this video to make it shorter. But hope you like the before and after pictures. Give this video a like. Do it now. I'm not kidding. Do it. But anyways, um, yeah, this isn't going to be perfect. Um, I could do a two-step paint correction and make this look beautiful, but this is just a one-step. Hope you guys liked it.